Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Dead Mines, the infamous dungeon out in Westfall. Now, as you can see, I'm actually sporting a different attire here. I am wearing a gentleman's uh, attire. I thought that'd be kind of fun. I love the monocle. <laughs> but wanted to change things up a little bit and make it a little more fun. Now, we're going to be exploring out of bounds the dead mines. And if you ever wondered what's actually outside the dead mines, I'm going to be showing you how to get out and uh, what's out there. Now, I've been told there are some rumors that uh, there is some pre outland material out there, or maybe even the Emerald Dream. I don't know. We're going to go find out. So, if you want to perform this glitch, what you're going to want to do is uh, right here in the entrance of the dead mine, you're going to find a corner right over here. Now, once you get inside of this corner, you're just going to want to get up against the wall here. And you're going to want to find a space like right around here. Now, you're going to want to build your seesaw. Once you build your seesaw, you're going to want to grow. And then you're going to want to jump on top of your seesaw. And... Ooh, it didn't work that time. Let's see here. Ooh, it's not liking us. Let's see. It's really not liking us, is it? So let's see if we can rearrange something here. What I'm thinking what we might need to do is jump in the corner first. There we go. And then make the sandbox storm griffin. And then get off. Make ourselves big again. Jump back on the griffin. And there we go. We are officially out. Now, when you get to this spot right here, it's a little bit tricky. As there is some land mass down below here. You're going to want to jump straight out and uh, glide. Now, the problem is you need to reach the other side. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck in a DC loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, nope. We need to be big. Oops. We uh, <laughs> let go of our growth potion there. So, All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump up, fly, dash. And we're going to make our way over to this mound over here. Once we get to the mound, we should be safe. All right. We made it out. We are officially out of the dead mine see everything works for a reason now one of the reasons why i actually uh metamorphosis into the corner of that pipe was because uh my guy wasn't fully getting under the the oomph there i guess you could say so what i wanted to do is i wanted to line my guy up to a point where he would kind of get stuck in the corner there when you get stuck in places that you're not supposed to be that's when you can build your toys outside of the map or inside the map to allow you to get out now What's really cool is we're going to go explore outside of the dead mines here and we're going to go take a look around. Now, I do see some stuff in the distance here. And I think this is what the rumors and things that people were talking about. As you can tell, it's very, very uh, empty out here. Kind of a, un, an uneasy feeling. Not a big fan of it. But it is pretty flat, not too much to see. But we are coming up to something way out here in the distance. Now, I don't know exactly what was built or tested out here. But I would, did read up some rumors that this was the so-called pre-Outland. Or the Emerald Dream testing area. Now, why they chose the dead, the dead mines. Dead lines, The dead mines uh, beats me. I don't know. I guess just back in the day. Um, this was just a very popular place to do testing grounds outside. Why not? The developers just had fun. Now, what's interesting, too, is uh, Westfall was actually the first location they built in World of Warcraft. The first zone that was built. So that kind of makes sense on why, I guess, the stuff is out here. Now, this is really cool. As we come out here, you're going to see this purple, pinkish aura glass floating out here. It's really kind of strange how this thing is just sitting here. You can get some cool screenshots out here, though. And you can kind of follow this twinkly star. 
thing going on. <laughs> Can we actually get on top of this thing? Oh no, it's just you walk straight through it. Okay. Now look at this. This is a sight to see right here. And you can actually even see a moon in the background. Wow. This is kind of a trip out here. I never thought there would even be a moon out in the outside of Dead Mines. <laughs> look at this area. Wow. It's colorful out here. You do have a lot of floating trees with these crystal things on top of them. I don't know exactly what was supposed to be out here. I'm assuming Blizzard had more plans. But I think, like I said before, this is just a testing ground for things. Now what's really interesting is that the Dead Mines has a skybox outside of it. Which I thought was kind of neat. As you can see a moon in the background. What's really interesting here are these things here. Now, we do have to test, right? We have to see if we can get on top of one of these things. So let's go around, and I think it'd be easier to get up over there than over here, because if we go up here on top of this mountain, I don't think there's too much to explore. Yeah, it kind of ends over here. There's You can't really go up the mountain anymore, it seems like. That'd be kind of a hard place to get up to. Well, let's actually go out this way and let's go back down the mountain and you can see some more purple aura stuff now what's interesting here is i think this is the dome or so-called dome asset that actually covered dalaran back when it was up in the hillsbrad or alteric valley area before it was moved because if you guys remember dalaran was actually located up there you can never actually technically get to the city, but in lore, there was in the original Warcraft games what it kind of was supposed to look like. And uh, I think that's what this purple shield stuff is. Let me give you guys a better shot of downside inside of this crater first before we get up there and try to jump on one of these trees. It's scary. You're like looking into the abyss here. Just random stuff, huh? And the reason why I say Dalaran is because, look at, you can actually see trees. I think this is what was actually covering Dalaran up in Alteric Valley. So they put a bunch of big, small Dalarans out here in the middle of the dead mines outside. <laughs> That's so random, right? That's kind of funny, though. Alright, let's see if we can get on top of one of these trees here. I'm curious to find out if these are, uh, you get on top of them, you fall through them. I don't know, I've never been on top of one yet, so let's see if we can get on top. We gotta see if we can make our way on top of here. Let's see here. Sorry guys, give me one minute, I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Sorry about that. I had to step away for a minute. Um, let's see if we can get on top of one of these trees. 
And you fall straight through. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think... Alright, I didn't think that would be... I didn't think that was going to happen. Let's see if uh, we can come over here and try to get on top of this one. Maybe all of them aren't like that? Who knows? Let's find out. But, you know, this is a very strange location. You know, you don't see stuff in the game like this normally. Oh, I guess we can just climb up here on the backside. Looks like it's a lot easier. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for our second bell rush. Uh... Oh, you just go straight through the trees too. <laughs> kind of sucks. Well, I guess it is what it is. Now, if you guys have never actually been down here, I definitely encourage you to come check it out. It's definitely a neat site. If you're looking for strange places in the world of Azeroth, this is definitely one of them. Uh, I don't know exactly, like I said before, what this was used for. I'm assuming it was a test ground. But why they did all this, I guess we'll never know. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's much out here that's left. I think outside of the dead mines, you can see that there is a giant structured wall all around that does host the dead mines inside of it. So if you ever wanted to know what the dead mine looks like from the outside, there you go. This is the whole dead mines instance right here. It's like one giant octagonal square, triangle, circle, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, right? Box. <laughs> whatever it is, it's pretty cool. It's kind of cool to look at, but it looks very, not too much out here. I think once we get back over here, I think that's really about it. And it just kind of does a circle, but this is kind of the main thing I wanted to look at was out here. Just to see all of this. It's very strange. Kind of mystical, actually. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, you know, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of those who have been supporting the channel. We are close to 4,000 subscribers. That is incredible. Um, the channel has just been doing great with stats. Everybody's been coming by and saying hi, and people have been super friendly. Uh, if you guys haven't yet joined the ATN Discord, I highly encourage you to do so. Great community in there. People are very active, very kind, uh, having fun, joking around. We're exploring OOB stuff in World of Warcraft. We're always doing stuff in there. So stop by, come join. Uh, we'd love to say hi to you. I would love to meet you myself. Also, coming up, we're going to be having the Gnome Run, the full Gnome Run video that's going to be posted. I'm waiting on some editing that's being done by Gotham Knight, so I appreciate him so much that he's went through two hours of footage to get that thing done. And uh, we got a sneak preview of it last night in the Discord channel, and it was really fun to watch. So I'm excited for that release. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please uh, put them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I will uh, catch you on the next one. Take care.